ठीक आई आई होप एवरी वन इज़ डूइंग गुड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एज यू ऑल कैन सी टुडे वी विल डू अनदर टाइप ऑफ ज्वेलरी विच यू गाइज कमेंटेड ऑन माई लास्ट पोस्ट इज द ऑक्सीडाइज्ड सिल्वर ज्वेलरी ऑल्सो इफ़ यू हैव नॉट सीन द प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल ऑन द गोल्ड कुंदन यू कैन क्लिक ऑन द लिंक गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स और यू कैन टैप ऑन दिस आई बटन ऑल्सो गाइज आई एम हैविंग लिटल कफ सो प्लीज एक्सक्यूज माई बैड वॉइस so to begin with the tutorial we will need just a single color which is the black you can take either watercolor black or poster color black i am using the poster color black we don't need too much of the shade just little bit and we will use good amount of water to dilute the color like in a very sheer manner which will give us a look of grayish effect so that will be our first base now oxidized silver has a shade ranging from silver like gray shade and very extreme black so that is what we need to bring the depth in the look so that we get that nice polished look as well as the rustic look of the oxidized silver here so you can go layer by layer with your black shade so guys few things to remember is you are working with a single color but the thing is you have to play with different saturated levels of the color so here you can see i have started with a very light wash of the black color after this color settles in i will go with the second layer of the black color but this time it will be little more saturated and as you keep on watching the tutorial till the end you will see how we have increased the black color to its maximum saturation so here i'm going with the second layer of the black shade and the trick here guys to make a good impact is to work around the side of the motif around the detailing which you have made so it's kind of you are working in the negative space you are trying to make the motif stand out so you will color the black around the main motif which you want to highlight so this way i will color around the sides of the main motif you can see i have made this uh, floral kind of pattern something like a lotus flower and some circles so i'm first coloring around the sides so that this motif will stand out and later i will give some other textures if needed so similarly here also in this center piece i'm kind of outlining the little space between the sections done the negative space which is the backdrop of the main motif now coming to the main motif that is the point which you want to highlight here i will not color everything black then it will all turn flat again so this time you kind of just simply shade or put a little lighter color around the motif so that it doesn't look very similar with the backdrop you have to understand the color and mix water in the right amount so that it can be like little less saturated or maybe little more saturated so that there is a certain difference here you can see guys how i'm doing it at last it should not look like it's totally black but there should be little of white space also so guys keep watching the video till the end and see how i keep on adding layers now few things to understand is uh, wait between adding your layers if your color is very watery it will take little time to settle in so wait between your layers to dry don't rush with the technique because we are using one single color here that is the black to bring out all the effects so you have to work with very light hands giving lots of texture you can study any reference picture or take a real jewelry if you have and study that or you can take any reference pictures to practice 
and uh, understand the texture and do it accordingly few suggestions i would uh, like to give is using very detailed brush and using water based papers if you are using watercolors it's good if you are using water based papers i am using hot pressed watercolor papers you will get the details of all the materials in the description box given below So guys I'm done with the jewelry piece here now I will add little depth that means little shade now this is not a necessary step if you want you can do it I have used the similar materials in my previous video also but here the difference is I'm using a cotton bud and you can use the cotton bud also to create a very light amount of shade you can use a charcoal pencil directly and then blend it i'm using a charcoal stick and uh, using it over a sandpaper 
सो गाइज कीप कमेंटिंग दैट वॉट अदर वीडियोज़ इन द ज्वेलरी रेंज शुड आई मेक एंड शेयर योर सजेशंस एंड फीडबैक्स रिगार्डिंग ऑल द ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड डू ट्राई दैम आउट एंड यू कैन शेयर विथ मी ऑन माई इंस्टाग्राम दिस इज़ माई इंस्टाग्राम आई डी एंड डू यूज द हैश टैग आर्ट स्टूडियो बाई शबानी सो दैट आई कैन सी ऑल योर वर्कस वेरी इजीली अंडर द हैश टैग so here is the final look i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the notifications of my upcoming uploads till then keep illustrating keep practicing take care bye bye see you all very soon in my next video